Welcome back to the channel guys, Meshcore has moved on again. If you don't know what Meshcore is, go check out the last few videos that I've made. Um, basically Meshcore is an off-grid messaging system that allows you to use lower radios um, with various devices. But today is exciting news because we've actually got a web app. So let's dive in and take a look at this brilliant web app that a guy called Retcroft from our Discord has spent tireless hours making. Um, so shout out to you, mate. I know you've spent so much time on this. And yeah, it's just absolutely brilliant to see. So if we head to the home screen, we've got a Meshcore client on there. I'll show you how to install that on your home screen in a second. But basically, once you start it up, you come to this connection screen. So you can, you can choose whether to connect a serial device or a Bluetooth device. I'm gonna be connecting a Bluetooth device here. So I'll hit the Bluetooth button, and you know, if you do this for the first time, it'll ask you to pair and everything else, but I'm just gonna show you a quick demo of how it works, and then we'll dig into the, the settings and everything. So we'll hit go on that. We're connected to this node now, which is a Helltech V3. And then we can just basically just dive into a discovery list which shows you all the nodes that we're basically um, hearing in the area, ones we can connect to. You can see we've got um, Richard RNT, TDEC. We can click to chat to him. We can type in messages and we can, you know, do all sorts of stuff here. Um, and I don't, I'm not sure if he's actually online at the moment. There you go, that went through so quick. Do you see that? That's about three repeaters away. Um, so let's just kind of go back to the um go back to the main screen here wait for him to reply um we've got some other ones here as well um subnet he's he's in hoddiston down the road i'm just going to fire out some messages here and just hope somebody comes back for the <laughs> purposes of this video um so it looks like he might not actually be online but anyway this will try a few times to actually reach him it's all automatic and yeah you don't have to do anything that will just carry on um going on in the background, we've got a chat screen which show you your, your chats and you'll have notifications on here when um, people send you messages. And you can also obviously set all the parameters of the radio on this as well. Like you can change your, your node name, you can change the frequency and the and all the lower settings that way. Um, but yeah, very, very kind of straight to the point, this app at the moment. Lots of features will be added um, as time sort of goes on on this. But for now, it works and it works really well i've got to say this is this is working absolutely brilliantly so just in case nobody replies i can do a quick test to show you my um show it on my t deck so i've got my t deck here if i say andy android get out of the light there i can say basically just like you know hi hit go on there and you see we even get a little notification um sound as well we can go into there and we can basically sort of type high back you know this is the standard kind of <laughs> boring mesh conversations that um you do in video demos so hit that and you'll see immediately how fast that goes through with the two ticks now you obviously saw a minute ago how quickly that went through um with uh two was it was it sub that i sent a message to uh um, probably richard t deck actually i think it was yeah so you can see like even going through like three repeaters that just went like that unbelievable so if we get Richard Tdeck up on this one and just say like um, path test, something like that, you can see we haven't got a path at the moment because it just says a question mark. Just hit go on there and hopefully it will find a path to Richard. Hasn't done that time, um, but we can just try again. And there you go, three, three hops away. So that is using a direct path, which is using three repeaters. So effectively you're just using those repeaters. You're not spamming everything on the mesh. You're just using the repeaters needed um, for me to get from here um, to Richard. And the web client and this radio do exactly the same thing as this T deck here. So it's pure mesh core, even though you don't see the hops actually on this app at the moment. So Richard's just replied here, um, so having, a, having a good day and so, say, yeah, just making a video. Um, usual stuff. <laughs> um, when they have these camera lenses on the side, means you can't have these phones flat on there on the surface anymore. Um, yeah, to make the video, let's see if that one, how quick that one goes through. I mean, that one went through pretty quick as well. Sometimes with Richard, it will actually kind of um, time out. Sometimes it takes a little while. It might try two or three times for, the, to him, to get, for him to get the message. Um, so today it's absolutely, it's rolling really well. So next up, I'm gonna show you how you do this basically. So how you set up a Helltech V3. So basically brand new Helltech V3. 
that's not brand new. I've had this one knocking around for ages. It's probably got mesh tastic on it actually. But yeah, just taking a Hilltech out of the box and just flashing it, super easy to do, and then just loading up this web app. It is so simple, guys. There's no excuse not to get into MeshCore now. So yeah, to set one of these up, all you've got to do is literally just take that out of the box like that. Head over to flasher.meshcore.co.uk. It's this website up here. Um, this is our web flasher. And basically what you want to do is flash the Heltec V3 BLE companion radio firmware for use with web app. Okay, that's a mouthful. Let's move Richard out of the way. So yeah, just plug in the Heltec into the computer there. And basically we can just hit connect on this. And then we want to connect to the CP2102. Connect and you should get this kind of, you know, dialog box come up and then install Heltec. Yes, we want to erase, just want to make a completely new new device here. And then just hit next, install, and that is it, guys. It should just literally, um, literally install that. Now, if you do have problems with this, you might find that maybe you've got another app open that's trying to connect to the serial port or something like that. Um, so make sure anything's anything like that is shut because that will cause problems. But effectively, we're now just loading the MeshCore BLE companion onto the, um, the Heltec V3 and it shouldn't take long. And that is done. So go out of here, get rid of that box. Now, before you sort of do anything else, best thing to do is connect the antenna. It's not gonna transmit anything at the moment because it's just not connected to um, Bluetooth. So you won't, you know, you're not gonna fry a radio or anything like that, but you should really just put the antenna on. Um, Straight away, it's just me being lazy. Now it's important to realize that nothing will show on this screen um, at all because we haven't implemented the screen on this at this stage. That is something that is planned, but for now we're keeping things simple. Just nothing, nothing shows on that display there and it obviously helps power consumption. So now we've done that, what you can actually do, I'm not gonna do this on the phone. I think I'm just gonna do this on the computer. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the MeshCore client, which is client.meshcore.co.uk. Pretty simple. You've got to use a Chrome browser for this. It won't work in others. So it's got to be a Chrome browser um, because it features the, the, um, the Bluetooth uh, connection system. So if we hit connect Bluetooth on here, we'll see our MeshCore node, which is that one there. Hit pair. For the first time you do it, you will get asked for a pairing code. That is simply one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you just literally connect and that will be your radio connected. So you can see here, we've got connected to no name at Bluetooth. So to change that, what you wanna do is go to the uh, settings tab and you can type in, you know, test Heltec, um, or it's just do Heltec test. Just aware that anything that I type on this is gonna sort of go across the mesh. <laughs> so I need to make sure, um, that I have something in there like that. So all the other settings are fine. These are like test settings for, for this area, but um, you might want to change these in, for your different regions. In fact, you definitely will want to change these. So set name and the name should be set there. And then we can just literally go back to the devices tab, make sure that that's changed, which it has. And then we can see in our discovery list, some stations are starting to appear. So that's good, we know, know things are working. So in the discovery tab, we've got this thing here called send advert. So this is how MeshCore works. You basically send out a thing called an advert, which has all your information, like your name, your public key. And there's two ways you can do this. You can send it zero hop, which is recommended because it won't propagate across the mesh. So if you've got local locals that are, are within range of you, um, then zero hop's the best way because it doesn't you know, go across the entire mesh and, and cause congestion. Sometimes you will have to use flood because there's people that are like multiple hops away and they're not gonna see you on a zero hop one. But we have got this nice little warning here that basically tells you that you're about to flood the entire network with your advert, um, which puts severe stress on the mesh. So please use this feature sparingly. So we'll hit okay, we're gonna do that. And you heard, might've heard that little chink and you'll see on my T-Deck, if we go to uh, the discovery list on the T-Deck, there I am, Heltec test node. So that is good. And if I do, if I do one here, you will actually see me appear on that list as well. So now we can chat with our new 
our new node. So now if you want to use a smartphone with your mesh core client you can go to the same website on a smartphone. Um, this has got to be an Android phone running Chrome. I'm afraid no iOS is going to work at this stage. There are going to be apps coming um, for iOS but yeah you might have to just wait a little bit for that. It probably isn't going to be long. But yeah basically you can go to client.meshcore.co.uk and the same basically the same interface will come up. It's actually quite cool in this like dark mode on a on um, on my phone here. Um, so that will come up and it's exactly the same you can do everything you can do on the desktop or chrome uh, web browser version but one extra feature you can do with the android smartphones with chrome is you can actually install it as a web app on the home screen so you can basically add to home here then you can choose to install the mesh core client on your actual phone so that will install it and there it is on the home screen of my Android smartphone here. Now, the great thing about this, because I can hear all the people going, oh yeah, but if you're using a web app, then it's online and it's not offline, blah, blah, blah. Well, actually, yeah, this is offline. You can turn basically all your radios off on your phone and this will still work because it's now installed as a sort of offline app, if you like. So to get this one set up with the smartphone, I can go connect Bluetooth, pick our mesh core node there, pair, and then we want to pair that with this device. Obviously, it's the same pin code as before, one, two, three, four, five, six, pair that, and then basically it will be connected and see the, the light there as it does its sort of advert packet. Go into discovery list and we can see all the things that it's received. It's received quite a few more actually as it's been just sitting there on. So this is actually, it is standalone. Um, so it's going to receive messages, they're going to go into a queue um, if this device is not connected to the smartphone. So it is possible to just, you know, not have your phone connected to it all the time. When you connect to it, you should see sort of messages and stuff come through that way. Um, so it's, it's similar to the other kind of mesh systems out there that, that kind of do that same thing. Um, chats aren't persistent at the moment um, on this, so you will lose your chats when you kind of reconnect to it. But you know, that is kind of, yeah, it's what it is. It's supposed to be a secure thing anyway. So you could be arguing that you don't want your messages stored on the device anyway. But when you set this up initially, you might be asked if you want notifications. Some smartphones seem to have notifications working on this. So you will get your like little kind of um, banner and everything else come up on the phone. I haven't seen it on this particular one. This is a Samsung S24 Ultra. I, I don't know if it's going to be different on the other ones, but I have heard some people report that it does work. Um, and then obviously you've got your other things like your settings panel and chats and everything else. So that is kind of it, guys. Um, that's where we're at with this at the moment. It's a huge amount of progress in a very short space of time. So, you know, things are only going to obviously improve with more features being added as we go along. And of course, this is a web app. So, you know, every time you visit it, you might see something new. So that's kind of cool um, as well. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Get this one downloaded. Set up your Helltech V3s if you've got them knocking around. Old Meshtastic ones, blah, blah, blah. You might find there's some Meshcore activity in your area already. Also, with this, it's possible to stick this Helltech, you know, up on your gutter with a, a kind of waterproof box on a, a fairly decent antenna and then obviously use your smartphone to connect to it you don't even need to set up a repeater at this stage although to get the best out of it you are really going to need another Helltech that can act as a repeater I've done a separate video about that anyway guys that is definitely it for this one catch you next time